guys, how are y'all? So, this is going to be a super quick video. I was actually just filming my November favorites, and I remembered that I wanted to do this video, and it's like going to be quick and easy, so why not? This is a, if you can't tell by the title, a product's not worth the hype. So many people may disagree with me. Actually, I know they do because these are products that like I went out and bought that I, most of which, well, some of which that I returned because they just didn't work for me. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. I have a list. I've been keeping the list. It's not that big of a list, but you know, I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I guess I will start with the ones that I returned. And I've talked about both of these. I returned Shame, the Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick Shame. And I've said this before, so I'm just going to be real quick. It was a hot mess. Unless you applied it with a lip brush um, and you wore lip liner and all that, it, like, it applied so patchy and unevenly and like it would bleed. And for $22, and it being such an intense color, like, the lipstick that I have on right now, this is, um, I just bought it. I haven't even included it in my haul video. This is a $5 lipstick, if that is NYX Snow White, okay? This is a dark color. I have no lip liner on. It stays on forever. It goes on evenly, and it does not bleed. I don't worry about it bleeding or getting on my teeth, like... So yeah, I took the other one back. I also took back my YSL lipstick. I got it in nude beige. And not only did the color like pull peach on me for some Behind reason, um, I really do not like the smell or the taste of it. Um, if any of y'all have experienced that, leave me a comment down below letting me know because like, <laughs> I haven't ever heard that before. Maybe it was just mine and I should give them another chance. What do y'all think? But anyway. Um, I also returned the Benefit Hula. I know. I don't think I've heard anyone say that they don't like it. But it looked extremely muddy on me. I am cool toned. Um, so I was like doing research. And I did read that um, it doesn't, you know, look very good on cool toned um, skin. But even people that I've watched on YouTube that have cool toned skin love it. But on me... My husband just got my son out of the bath. But, um, on me it just looked really muddy. So that thing went back. Um, Smashbox Halo. I've heard really great things about that uh, foundation. Wasn't enough coverage for me. Didn't like it. Took it back. Um, and then I have the last three. <laughs> and this is good people. Y'all are going to think that I'm, like, wonky. But I did not take it back because I like it. I like this product. It is absolutely gorgeous. But it's just, it's not one of those products to where, like, I don't reach for it. I hardly ever reach for it. I, I'm trying to think, like, there is a, there is some neutrals, but, like, I just... And I wouldn't take it back because it's limited edition. And I know it's gorgeous, so I kept it. But... I don't ever use it. And that is... <laughs> Are y'all mad now? <laughs> I just... I don't know. You see, I mean, it's gorgeous. Y'all all know what it looks like. But it's just... It is not... It is not like some of the other palettes where, like... Like, I... For 60 days, you know, because I think you have 60 days to return it to Sephora. I was like, am I going to take it back? No, you need to keep it. No, take it back. Keep it. Anyway, so I had to include it. Um, also, the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. This has that Grow Lash Complex. Once again, I've heard so many great things about this. I like the wand um, about this mascara, but it didn't work for me, um, like at all. I felt like it gave me a very natural eyelash and I don't like natural eyelashes I like boom you know I want you to like I don't mind the spider eyes like not like crazy spider eyes but um I expect more from a mascara um and again and this I've, I've heard a few people talk about this so I was like oh, I'm gonna try it it's only a couple of the bucks 
So the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. Um, didn't work for me either. And it looks like this. It's uh, one of the rubberized ones. Um, wands. Didn't like it. So yeah, I think... Oh, hmm, I have one more. And maybe, and I need to probably try this with uh, the lip liner, but I just don't feel like it looks good on my skin tone, and it is Bibet, Lime Crimes Bibet. Um, this is the only Lime Crime polish that I have, and I, I want to try more, but this color just does not look very good on me. So if you're like an, I'm like an NW25 in MAC. Um, doesn't look good on me. I don't know. I think that's everything. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, let me think. I guess I should have thought harder about this before I started filming. What can you do? Yeah, I'm done. That's it. So yeah. Um, if y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see the reverse of this, then leave a comment down below and let me know. Like, the products that, like, people hype up that I'm, like, absolutely in love with. Or, or maybe even products that, like, I could not live without. Like, products that are really behind the scenes that I use every day that I just never talk about. If you'd be interested in something like that, then leave a comment down below and let me know. But, anyway. I hope you guys are having a great week, and until next time, bye guys! Mwah!